Hi, I've been talking about things that I feel could have been done differently at the macro level by the administration, but then there are things that we can do at our individual level that could create joy, that could create abundance, but we don't. We don't do those things. And talking of from the perspective of uh, personal experience and observation, sometimes I think this inaction is because of the innate inertia that we feel. We work sometimes, but they are not directed towards a certain, uh, it lacks focus, it's a diffused action. On, uh, on the other hand, I mean, at some other time, we just cannot muster the kind of courage that is required to do a certain thing. And from the perspective of yoga or Indian uh, philosophy, there are reasons for it. Let me begin from the beginning. I have an illustration ready, hopefully it helps. So this is how it goes. Everything in this world, everything, is made, there are three types of matter. We know this, we know this. First is dense, second is subtle, and the third one is the subtlest. So is the case with our, with our bodies, with human bodies, with all bodies, with all living creatures. Let's take example of this candle and the lamp it is uh, put in. See, this is the densest part. This is the densest part. The candle is less dense, yet it is solid. Just below, just below the the uh, uh, wick, there is there is this uh, liquefied wax and there is this bubble kind of a thing forming at the place where the liquid and the fire meet and it's moving so which which is an indication that there's air as well and there is fire above fire there's air okay so densest is the earth then less dense uh, solid, then, then plasma kind of a thing, then the wick, then the different zones of the flame, and then air, okay? So this is uh, what it is, okay? This is, how it, this is how it is with everything. So, uh, this is wax, okay? So the densest part in our body is earth. The solid portion of our bodies is the earth, which is known as tamas. Tamas is, in Sanskrit means, it means darkness. It stays at one place. It doesn't move. Then there is subtle. Subtle part of our body is the air, because air is the most... Uh, most mobile, most, uh, it has a tendency towards highest level of movement. So that's rajas, that's, that's rajas, gun. That the quality of rajas, which moves. And then there is space and ether, which is sattva. Sattva is, sattva is, um, it doesn't, it is not dark, it is opposite of tamas, that is, it is, it is pure light. It is not moving aimlessly like rajas, it is focused. So, pure light and focused is what sattva is. Alright, but then that's not all. If you, if you touch your skin, you feel, you feel a certain temperature as well. So, there is fire as well in our body. So when sattva, that is pure light, meets with earth, it forms water. And when rajas, that is air and uh, space, they combine together, it forms fire. So now we are a combination of all these, 
all these components when i say we i just don't mean humans every living creature but since i would know how a human feels so i'm talking in from perspective of human now a parallel concept a parallel concept is this which you need to pay attention to kosh sheath covering shell and how are they two connected we'll come to that so the outermost portion of our bodies is the grossest it's the most dense because that is the one that creates boundary between outside and inside so that's called annamaya kosh which is made up of the food that we eat the thick portion the boundary is made of the food that we eat then is just like i showed with that uh, candle there is this plasma kind of a thing there is this fluid kind of a thing where uh, the gross portion ends so in our bodies as well we have pranamaya kosh so pran pran is the uh, let's say life force it's not air uh it is high valence ions it ha- it is highly cha- charged ions that are that ha- that are part of oxygenated air so something that is that is very creative and is a part of oxygen that we breathe in that's life force now how can we see life force sometime when uh, the sun is covered by uh by by a fragment of cloud and when that fragment of cloud frag gets for fragmented furthermore you will see a white light coming through it coming through the cloud that's life force so sun is responsible for the life on this planet and that white light that filters through Uh, that filters through the cloud is the life force it enters our body there are five type places where it enters and five places where it goes let me not get into those those details because that can get theoretical and we are we are just not here for theory because theory is something that you can do on your own what am i here for in my own estimation to make things easier and why do i think i'm a tool of making things easier because i've been talking about inactivity inactivity means inaction inaction means inertia tendency towards lethargy lethargy can come only when you get too dense denseness happens when there's lot of earth lot of solids in our body so the idea is to reduce the solid increase the fire so that we get pushed towards action so i was talking about this particular portion that our outermost uh, covering is the annamaya kosh which is made up of food anna means food so so sheet that's made up of food the grossest the densest part then uh, underneath that is uh, pranamaya kosh which is made up of life force and uh, and certain uh, liquids that's the lymphatic system you must have studied lymphatic system in your biology in your in your high class high secondary or high school classes and then uh, beneath beneath that pranamaya kosh or life force kosh or sheet is manomaya manomaya means mind you know that mind would be water because moon is connected to emotions emotions and therefore high tides low tides we've been studying it for a long long time so water means sattva and tamas so these three outer three coverings are decided by your karma or past impressions or dna that gets passed on to you uh, through the generations why do you 
why do you feel so dense why do you feel a tendency towards inertia or why do you feel overly emotional why do you think too much all these three things will be connected to your past impressions sanskar okay the shells that are above or uh, let's say underneath these outer three coverings are something that you can make on your own through through your own karma in this life so the green covering the green shell it is not green but to make things easier for you why green okay i'll explain later that's uh, vigyan mai kosh that's intellect you may ask what's the difference between mental or mind uh, kosh or sheath and intellect mind is something that you're born with your ten- tendency towards having certain thoughts your tendency towards a certain behavior having a certain behavior whereas intellect would depend is something that you acquire through your cognitive abilities through knowledge that you uh, gather through your experience so that's vigyanmay that's your ability to reason things and the uh, innermost not innermost one of the innermost uh, shell in which the unity unity is the soul where your soul resides is uh, anandamaya kosh anand is bliss when you are detached or disengage yourself with outer factors you don't get ruffled you don't get bothered you don't get overly emotional overly uh, in your head space so there's bliss there's peace sometimes there is another sheath that people talk about and that's paramanandamaya kosh so these are the coverings that will cover your soul you can also see it like this so if this is the human figure the outermost is the grossest proportion that's made up of meals food that you eat then the inner is the the combination of pran or life force or breath plus water then pure water then uh, space and air then air and then space so this is the this is your soul is it even visible no in any case it's not visible because the colors are all getting mixed up so one and uh, it's like one of those boxes where you have boxes in a box one box in another box in another box so the innermost box is your soul hmm? what happens if your if your grossest portion grossest sheath or anamaya kosh is the thickest one then you have a tendency to be inert because earth does not move it is stable it is steady uh, there is a certain deftness and gravity to it but you want movement you want creativity creativity is this yellow portion and fire so you want that to increase and this particular sheet to decrease so naturally when you want if you sit at one place what will happen imagine a beaker in which you have put uh, some sand and have stirred it after a while what happens if you don't move that beaker the sand deposits or settles at the bottom of that beaker the same happens uh, the same happens with our bodies if we sit at one place lie down at one place and more important if we sit or stand at one place we get we get uh, susceptible to developing or uh, pronouncing our earth factor because the dense portion will settle down will make it difficult for us to move so firm one first thing first don't be sitting or resting for a long time for hours at stretch so even if you have a desk job or if you sit if you are at your home doing your research or doing whatever or sit you have your station at one position just make sure that after every few minutes let's say after after half an hour of your 15 20 minutes you take a stroll just do make things dense there are other things that i wanted to uh, talk about which can help 
obviously as i said that anamaya kosh is made up of the food that we eat so if you eat less obviously your uh, sheath will get narrower that that band will get narrower then don't eat much of ground vegetables what are ground vegetables that grow underneath the uh, ground naturally like um, uh, beetroots like carrots potato and others turnips so that can increase the earth factor in your body eat lighter foods and if you are having uh, if you have some kind of a problem going on uh, like for my in taking example of uh, me if i can't eat warm herbs because they give me allergy what i can possibly do is resort to other methods which i'll talk about so eat less so that that particular thing i uh, doesn't mean that you starve yourself but when you the moment you feel that you can you're full just stop it then and there sometimes we eat until we can eat no more then uh if you are eating uh fresh fruit fresh food then also it helps your uh it helps to it helps to increase uh movement in your body and old refined food super refined food and old food makes uh the system dense and then um of course there are three three things as i said the three first three uh, sheet are are something that we inherit so the we can we can decrease this particular sheet that is uh, pranamaya kosh by breathing less because in bhagavad gita it is written, written that if you want to get into trance state let there be few moments in your day time in your in, in your entire day where you completely stop breathing so there would be a flash of trance but this has to be done scientifically you can uh, read how it is done and just don't do it uh, randomly that may harm you so the idea is to breathe less because the more you breathe the more you burn you don't want to burn okay and how do you breathe less by uh, by there are three ways again you can read through uh, you can go through the text it is yam niyam and pratihara yam means you don't do anything immoral niyam discipline self discipline is very important so getting up waking up early having your food at a fixed time taking bath at a fixed time going out every day is necessary even if it's just for a stroll in your garden on your uh, terrace wherever go out uh read uh read books that can increase your knowledge so adhyay okay not just what you get in form of modules in your college and university and classrooms let, let there be swad uh, adhyay means something that you read uh on your own and the third part is pratihar pratihar is disengage with the sensory uh sensory uh, pleasures so if you don't be swayed by seeing good lot of rich food don't be swayed by lot of entertainment outside and so on you know what the drift so i don't need to go so these are the three things through which you can decrease your breathing you can because it's through breathing we come to know who's sick who's not who's disturbed who's not, who's not who's upset who's not irregular breathing or fast breathing fast breathing sadness irregular breathing confusion and so on so breathing less third one is after pranamaya there is manomaya so uh, let me not confuse you with these words because these words are not something that we need to remember what we need to remember is grossest body has to be reduced lot of breathing has to be reduced so that there is more grounding there is less of being in the head space and then there is uh, manomaya the think feeling to 
too much feeling how do you feel a little less by not having judgment towards others because it's the not judgment towards others and your circumstances and your situations and your surroundings all external factors like if your two chakras the above two chakras the uh, are uh, there some problem with you when you think you are the smartest there is a problem with you and that may uh, lead to that may lead to arrogance ego and if people don't pamper your ego and arrogance you develop a knot in those two chakras and these it is through the knots in the mind that lead to knots in the body and knots in the body is known as cancer we don't want that so having no judgment about your own self is great don't think that you are the smartest uh all right i thought i got this connect and then the next part is don't have judgment towards others that's your heart chakra and your solar plexus so sometimes you want somebody to respond to us to behave in a certain way show us warmth and love because we are doing our best but we don't we don't get it in return so we end up developing knots that has to be this situation has to be um deleted and that can be deleted by a, a certain asan like uh, there are asans that that connect to your heart asan or yoga asan certain posture that open your heart space and your uh, your sol- solar plexus chakra that's your stomach and then when you have less of uh, less of uh, self confidence identity crisis etc etc that means your lower two chakras are are out of balance and i'm talking about chakra as though my kundalini has uh, awakened no nothing of the sort it's just that it still helps me knowing about where is what it it still helps me and when i feel too constricted i do those asanas or at least try to so that the judgment dissolves things still happen but at least we should do our actions i'm i've started I've, i'm i'm making this video because even i find myself stuck in inertia entrapped in inertia at times all right the lower two chakras are out of balance if you have um, as i said a feeling of low self confidence that you don't belong or you have some kind of an identity crisis and that's when you do your root chakra asan or mool band when you um yeah, i don't need i you can just find out how it is done so there are asans right so eat less eat less of ground uh, vegetable eat fresh fruit do cleansing of yourself and the house because when we want to do action sometimes people don't respond in the same way there are certain things that are still under our control and that cleansing of ourselves uh upkeep of ourselves and cleaning of the house cleaning of almiras the moment you feel depressed and out of balance start cleaning things the moment you feel that you want to wake up you want to lie in the bed the whole day start cleaning the house start cleaning your surroundings start making changes in your looks groom yourself go to temples mosques or churches whichever faith you believe in that is go to go to these places not because uh, of anything else but there is a certain positive vibration you find in those places inside those uh, places you are not wishing for people's um, you're not hoping for harm to others you're hoping for a better life for yourself which is positive enough then uh yeah um am i am i am i all right now this uh, do asans connected to your stomach so that there is more fire generated there has to be more fire in the belly so this is literal create more heat in the belly by doing those asanas then there are certain music uh, pieces that you can hear they have not worked for me like binaural and mon- monaural 
um, and after doing after reading few researches that have been found that they do reduce anxiety level but nothing more than that uh, maybe if there is something found later in future be on a lookout but they did not work for me however what worked for me to an extent was exposing myself to certain frequencies like your root chakra if you want to activate it you are low on self confidence you feel you don't belong listen to c plus note musical note your sacral chakra you're not creative enough then d plus and then your stomach there is not enough fire in the belly e plus heart space you don't feel you uh, you don't feel happy because you don't feel loved f plus you you cannot speak your truth g plus you don't have intuitions and end up making mistakes a plus you want to feel one with god b plus okay let me see if i can if i can find uh, that musical piece it's high, hardly musical it's just sound this is d plus D plus is your sacral chakra, but we want E plus. I can't find it at the moment. Let me just try again. Uh, if you are, if you are here, then maybe you could be here for one more minute, for hardly a few seconds, and then go. Oh please don't give me that these ads Yeah listen to this one this is for the you'll actually feel your some movement something stirring in your belly Anyways so this is all in our power if we are if we are lethargic if we are inert i was going through uh, durga saptashrati and the first chapter of madhu kaitab who are two asuras or demons madhu means um, honey kaitab means sar so they stop brahma who's the creator from working so basically what i got for the first time for the first time i got this idea it could be right it could be wrong but i'm sharing that you do not create things because you get scared that um, people will either talk because you are you are swayed by people honey talks and uh, and they criticizing you so don't let people uh, decide what you need to create action action has to be done action has to take place right this is all i wanted to talk about